people in the room that I don't know, so for that purpose, I kind of want to tell you who, who we are. Valerie is my wife. I'm Patrick Kelly. We own a local real estate company here called Kelly Realty Team. Uh, we each have our own businesses before we got into real estate several years ago. We joined Remax here in Horseshoe Bay, arguably number, one of the number one brokerages in our market. We loved it there. We loved our broker. We loved our experience and our colleagues, a couple of who are here today. And about nine months ago, we were felt led to leave Remax and start our own business because we're kind of entrepreneurs at heart, right? So in the middle of a COVID pandemic, Valerie and I said, hey, let's go do something new because that's just kind of the way that we roll. So we did that. We opened Kelly Realty Team. We leased about 2,000 square feet in a beautiful building over here on the main highway in Horseshoe Bay. And we said, let's have some fun. And we started having fun from day one. That was nine months ago, August 1st. And last month in April, she and I and a team of agents closed $5 million. Uh, so we're really happy. So right when we're accomplishing all of our dreams and all of our goals, our good friend Will Gilden calls us and says, hey, I want to tell you about EXP. But uh, he said, please watch this video. It was a 38 minute video. Just long enough that I could give it my time. If it was an hour and 10 minutes, I probably would have never watched it. That's why I'm trying to keep this presentation in one hour, okay? But we watched it, and we were hooked right away. I watched it, and I watched it again, and I knew that we were going to join EXP and move our brokerage over to EXP, which is what we did about nine days ago. So here we are. So I wanted to tell you guys about the exciting things about EXP, because I don't think you'll see it in any other brokerage. And so thank you for coming. Thank you, honey. You can have a seat. But some of the things that we'll cover today is who is EXP? What's their business model? What is EXP World, EXP Solutions, and how to join EXP? Glenn Sanford, who's our founder, had important roles in internet startup companies early on in his career. And then in 2002, he started his real estate career. So I want you to hear that. He understands the internet, and then he got into real estate, and he figured out how to merge the two to connect with consumers online, which he did in 2006. I think it's worth mentioning that in 2006, think about how long ago that was in real estate, you got the Zillows, the Realtor.coms, you know, as they were trying to gain footing and change the market and change the industry like they have, Glenn Sanford was doing the same thing with what he knew and pairing them together. Glenn believes that agents and brokers do the heavy lifting in real estate. Can I get an amen, real estate agents? Have we done the heavy lifting here lately in real estate, right? Yes, sir. And so he believed that we should be rewarded for those efforts at different production levels. So he has created a model that gives us benefits of being a shareholder, meaning an owner in the company, because we're all owners. Every EXP agent is an owner in the company, okay? And how we can even generate revenue based upon different levels of our contribution. All right, so after the founding in 2009, things started happening pretty quickly. 2010, EXP celebrates its first 11 states. We're open in 11 states. The next year, we start being featured in periodicals, industry trends and reports. 2012, Glenn Sanford, after three years of founding EXP, is named one of the top 100 most influential people in real estate in just three years. That's not easy to do. The next year, 2013, we become a publicly traded company. 2014, EXP launches in Canada. We're now in nine provinces in Canada and many countries, which I'll go over in just a minute. 2015, don't miss this, okay? In 2015, everything changes because the company launches the Agent Equity Program and the Icon Agent Award. Out of everything I'm gonna to cover today, I'm most excited to show you what these are, because it's why we joined the company. And if, if you wonder how significant that was, look at what happened the very next year in 2016. EXP triples their agent count in just one year, okay? 2016, we tripled. 2017, actually into 2018, we reach a great milestone. We have 10,000 agents with EXP, and we are named Glassdoor's best place to work. Now I'm gonna ask you guys, when was the last time that you heard of a real estate company being the best place to work? We're independent contractors, right? <laughs> EXP was given that award. Later that year in 2018, we joined the NASDAQ, and we're finally open in all 50 states in the United States. And then we, the Inman, Innovator Award winner for broker and owner. We all know who Inman is in the real estate business. This is a chart to kind of show the agent growth that we kind of covered a little bit. 2014, 15, 16, we're gaining traction, we're growing, different things are happening. In 2018, we joined the NASDAQ. And from there, 
our trajectory is, gets a vertical increase immediately. So in 2018, 2019, and 2020, all three of those years, EXP added 10,000 10, agents each of those three years, okay? It's worth noting that this chart ended December 14th. By April 15th of 2021, we did in four months added 10,000 agents what we had been doing in 12 month increments the three years prior. So I think it's safe to say that our company is growing at an exponential rate. Some of the EXP core values, service, sustainability, collaboration. I've never seen such collaboration as Valerie and I and our team have experienced in just the last 10 days. The people that reached out, I'll give you an example, Jen Frost, our friend back here. She reaches out yesterday and said, hey Patrick, I'm the expert at EXP and I'm like, I need to know you. She goes, hey, Nolly said that you guys are going to have this great presentation tomorrow. I just want to come. I said, okay, well, that's great. You know, she goes, I'll check people in. I'll fill iced tea for you. I'll do whatever you need to do. I just want to see you rock this performance, okay, this presentation. I said, come on. So she came in here, and I didn't even, didn't even know her name 24 hours ago. And here she is supporting Valerie and I and our team and really everyone in the room because she is the expert with the XP. Ooh. Transparency, integrity, two of our own personal core values. We love that they align with the company. Innovation, probably my favorite part. The best way to predict the future is how? It's just to invent it, which truly is exactly what EXP has done. And you'll see that as we go through. Agile, community, fun. Fun is probably our top core value at Kelly Realty Team. And it was from the day that we left Remax, the day that we opened our own brokerage, uh, you know, Taylor's in the room, Mary Jo. Where's Mary Jo? Okay, so these are two agents on our team and they will tell you if you ask them, Brittany also right here, that the first conversation we ever had with them in, our, in my office with Valerie was about fun. It's not about mandatory sales meetings, mandatory call-in duty or desk duty on the weekends. We want you to go have fun with your family. You, we're all gonna work when we need to work and I encourage you all to play every chance you get, okay? to have a balanced life. So our business model. Let's talk about brick and mortar companies versus cloud-based companies. Blockbuster, everyone in the room remembers, remembers Blockbuster. So Blockbuster was a household name worth $6 billion, but I don't believe they adapted to the future and kept up with the technology. Because of that, what happens? A little company called Netflix comes in, bankrupts a $6 billion company in just three years. Netflix is now worth $31 billion. Have any of you guys ever been in a Netflix store? Either have I, but I watch Netflix a lot, two or three times a week, unless I find something binge worthy. And then Valerie will tell you it's seven nights a week, three hours a night. <laughs> but that's me, I love Netflix, okay? I hate what happened to Blockbuster, but they should have adapted. Circuit City by Amazon, same thing. You've got Borders Books. Uh, they might've been bought out by Barnes & Noble, but I love Borders. I love Barnes & Noble. For me, it's an experience. I love to read. I have probably 250 books in my home that I've read. Love to read, but I love going in and sitting down on the floor in Barnes and Noble and reading the inside flap, taking five books, you know. Valerie will tell you, I have a stack of books that I've yet to read that I've just been too busy to do so far. But Amazon came along and did that to Borders. Now let's talk about the traditional real estate brokers. Quite honestly, I told you that we've added 50,000 agents to EXP. Well, these agents came from somewhere. Where did they come from? They came from the traditional brokerages that even if they wanted to do what EXP does for their agents, they can because they have all the overhead, all the, the, the more brick and mortar, the expenses, uh, it's, it's just crazy. So unless they adapt, they're gonna have a similar fate, I believe, over time. But EXP is a cloud-based brokerage. Everything is in the cloud. Okay, let's compare a little bit about this. The, one broker is not a franchise. Most of us worked at, have worked at franchises. You've got the overhead, desk fees. You've got a small local confined network that you can partner with and deal with. That's not the case with EXP. Inconsistent growth, and growth incentives. Does anybody in this room, does your brokerage offer you an opportunity for ownership in the company? It's hard to find if it's out there. I know it's here with EXP. This is EXP. Limited technology and support. That's something that Valerie and I struggle with. When you leave a national franchise like Remax and you open up a little bitty, you know, boutique brokerage, we didn't have a deep, you know, deep well of uh, education and training and technology. For a lot of people, this is the reason they're attracted to EXP. 
So many agents get lumped in and thrown into an office and say, go perform, you know? But all that training that is so crucial, especially in the beginning, it's all here. In fact, she's right here with Jen in the back. EXP, I said, cloud campus environment, no desk fees, you can work from anywhere. I don't know about you guys, but Valerie and I kind of like to work on the beach. Does anybody else like to work on the beach? Can I get an amen? amen. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the truth. When we go on vacation to the Caribbean, which we do a lot, we do business on the beach. We have our laptops, and we're sitting there listening to the wave. It's a great office environment, I'm telling you. Live training, that's something pretty cool with EXP. Every single week, EXP has 50 to 60 hours of live training that you can tap into depending on whatever, whatever uh, subject you need to learn about. And it's there every week. Different training every week. If you can't find what you want that week, I'm going to give you some exciting news. There is a monumental wealth of archives that you can tap into, and you can find the subject that you want to get more information on. International collaboration. Again, I'll cover that a little bit. You can build a team all over the world in EXP. It doesn't have to be a, a team in your office in your town. The, the possibilities are endless. Powerful equity opportunities. Again, this is what I'm excited to share with you guys. There's a revenue share plan and there's a stock equity plan. No desk fees. Work from anywhere. By the way, if you guys are in San Antonio and Austin like many of you are here today and your house is filthy, you've got four dogs and three kids and you don't ever want to take a client to your house. I've got good news for you guys. You've got a membership as an EXP agent to Regis Office Workspace. If y'all raise your hand if you've ever seen those or heard about them. Okay, they're a beautiful office environment that you can pop in, meet with a client in a beautiful glass conference room, a little cubicle, and do your business and not have to take them to your house. Live training, I covered that a minute ago. I'm gonna go quickly through this. This is kind of a, an image of the training every month. You can get it on Monday morning and see what's on deck for the whole week. Lead gen, CRM, listings, everything. You can get help in those areas. Quick on-demand support live from EXP agent. There's over 700 full-time EXP staff here for all of us to help you anytime. Transaction specialist and the support from corporate is available from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. five days a week. International collaboration, We've, like I said, we've gone into Canada, we've gone into other countries, I'll get to in a moment. You can build a team anywhere, globally, now. You can host and participate in daily online gatherings and benefit from an extremely powerful referral network. So EXP after Canada, we launched in the United Kingdom, Australia, South Africa. We're now in Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, and probably three more. But I, evidently right now, Latin America and South America is a big concern and a big target for EXP. We're doing very well. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the equity opportunity. So EXP has three different ways that you can earn stock as an agent with the company. If it's okay, I'm gonna use my sister-in-law, Shelly, as an example. So Shelly said, when, when I was excited and I called her and said, man, we're joining EXP, we're gonna get this presentation, love for you to come. It's like, you know, Patrick, I'm really happy where I am. I've got a great deal, I've got a great broker, I'm super stoked. But I would like to know more about the stock and the medical insurance. Is that right? So I'm gonna do a little scenario. If you join EXP as an agent, okay, in a typical year doing what you're doing, what you might could make and stop. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, can everybody see this board up here? All right. So here's Shelly. And Shelly joins the company this week. And next week she goes out and writes her very first transaction that closes later this month. It's a cash deal. So when that when that uh, transaction closes. First closing, EXP is going to say, great job, Shelly. Here's $200 in company stock. So then she keeps working and she keeps doing deals and she gets to a point where she caps, okay? I'm going to go over the commission split and the cap, but I will tell you, you cap when you pay $16,000 of your gross commissions to the company. It's the lowest cap I've ever heard of. When we were with Remax, I think our cap was at least over six figures. Very competitive. $16,000 you pay the company and you're on a 100% commission for the rest of the year. Okay, so she gets to that point, so she's capped, she, which basically means she wrote 2.7 million in closed transactions, okay? So she's got a cap. EXP is gonna say, great job, Shelly. Here's another $400 in stock, okay? So she's not gonna stop when she caps. She wants to make Icon Award Agent, like we all do. That's one of my biggest goals, productive goals for me and for Valerie. 
So to become an icon agent, you've got to cap, and then you've got to keep writing business, basically 20 more transactions. And, and when you cap, you start paying 250 per transaction fee. So you're not paying commission anymore, 250 per transaction fee, and that caps at $5,000 or 20 transactions. Once you close that 20th transaction after you cap, this is when it gets real good. You are an icon agent. One of the awards of becoming an icon agent in this company is they're going to give you $8,000 in EXP stock if you're performing and producing. So right now we've got $8,600 in company stock that's been given to her. Now, Shelly has said that she does not want to build a team. So to honor her, I'm not going to say that she sponsors a bunch of people because if you sponsor people in your team, which I'll get to in a minute, every time they, this is right below you, that you personally sponsor in the company, every time they write their first transaction, you also get $200 in stock. You have 10 people, 20 people that you sponsor. Okay, we've got, I've sponsored five in the last 10 days since I joined EXP. When they write their first transaction, when they all do, I'm going to get $1,000 in stock for helping them succeed. They will also. But since she doesn't want to build a team, I'm going to go into the other balance of this $16,000. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. The videos that I saw and in my research, nobody covers this. So when I dove deep into it and really understood it, I felt it my job to make sure that you understand it so you're not misled. $8,000 once you make ICON is yours. The other $8,000 is a little bit harder to get. Hey, I'll be honest with you. $4,000 of the $8,000, they break up into cultural uh, requirements okay that's a little bit ambiguous I looked into that the main way that people get the cultural requirement is they become a certified mentor with EXP what that means or what that would have meant for me is that I've got to mentor 10 people a year that they send me mostly new agents and I thought about it and I just don't have the time to do that because I'm we're, we're joining EXP we're growing our personal team it's not that I'm selfish or I don't want to help I mean Brittany, have we mentored you pretty well in the last few weeks? Provide leads, a desk, an environment to succeed, and we don't get any of her commissions, and we're still helping her. Taylor, same thing. I mean, you want to build your license, but you want to do some stuff for us. We worked out a job just for you that fits both of our needs, right? So we love mentoring our people, and we're good at it. So that $4,000, there's other ways you could get that $4,000. A couple of them are becoming a trainer, becoming a mentor, I mentioned, uh, becoming a teacher, maybe something in the community. EXP is big about giving back to the community. So there's ways you can make that 4,000, but she's busy and she's got two beautiful grandbabies up in Memphis. She's gonna be up there whenever she can, so she's not gonna worry about a team. So she's not gonna get that four, which leaves 4,000 left, okay, that you could get in stock after you make ICON. And that's broken down into basically two different conferences that EXP puts on every year. One is called EXP Conference or EXP Con. It's usually in the spring or early summer. Right now it's actually this month, okay? Well, I'm not gonna make ICON before this month. I hope to make it soon, but I won't be. So I'm not gonna go to that conference. I'm gonna try and go in the fall conference. Hopefully I will have ICON by then. If I have made ICON before I attend the conference, EXP is gonna say, thank you for coming, Patrick, and investing in your business and your team. This is called the Shareholder Summit. They're going to give you $2,000 just for coming to that conference. Now, some of you might ask, well, is that available to me right away? Do I have to wait? You know, what does it mean? I'm going to tell you. When EXP gives you something of stock, it's got to be fully vested for three years. So it's going to grow in there. Consider retirement. All right. When you pay for something or like actually I uh, share holder summit. And the next thing I'm about to cover those stock awards are available to you right away after 30 days. So let me get to the final way that you can earn stock. Let's say that you, you write enough business, you close and you make $100,000 in commission, which is probably life for you. But let's just say that you close 100,000 in gross commissions in this year. And you have an opportunity to opt in and enroll to a program which you can buy stock for a 10% discount from the street value. Warren Buffett, who I like, I've read his book, a smart guy. He says, anytime you have an opportunity to buy a company's stock at below its value, it's a great use of your cash. And I believe that. So I'm opted in. Every single commission I get, 5% is going to go to buy stock for me at a 10% discount. So at a 10% discount, let's say it goes up 10%, you make 20% on your money. 10% the day it hits your account. If it goes down, you've got a 10% hedge there, right? So I, for us personally, for our goal of retirement, 
we're just gonna pack that away. We're probably not gonna buy a new try to boat because we got Will, we go out on his, right? <laughs> All right, right? You know what you need? You don't need a boat. All you need is a best friend with a boat. Has anybody ever heard that saying? Okay, I'm telling you that. Amen. All right. So out of that $100,000, let's say that Shelly opts in to the purchase at a 10% discount, we're going to add $5,000. So you have earned $15,600 in one year doing what you're already doing and stuff. $15,600. Now, I want to show you an example now. If you'd have joined EXP in 2018, September, all right? Is it okay I'm using you? Sure. Okay. All right. And you did all of this in the next 12 months, and so we're now in September of 2019, okay? She started in September 2018. She did all of this that we discussed, which is doable. And then in 2019, she has $15,600 in stock. All right, this is pretty cool. In September of 2019, so I want to just tell you, I'm not a certified stock advisor. I'm not a certified financial planner. I have no business telling you what stock might do in the future, and I'm not. But I am going to tell you what it did in the past, in a certain time frame of 17 months. So if her $15,600 on September 2019, the stock was valued at $8 a share. Okay, so $15,600 divided by $8 a share. She had 1,950 shares on September of 2019. 17 months later, the stock got up to $157 a share. February of 2021, before it split, it was at $157 a share. So if Shelly had done the scenario I put out there, and she had that much in September of 2019, 17 months later, let me tell you what that $15,600 would be. 1,950 shares times $157 a share. This is no lie, folks. She would have had $306,150. Something tells me that's kind of when Will probably sold his boat, uh, sold his stock, <laughs> and went on boat, which is great for Will, okay? Because you can remember, you can take about half of the stock and do with it, play with it, do whatever you want, pay off bills, buy a new car, whatever you need. The other half, you've got to wait. I kind of like that because, you know, I might sell it all, buy a new Cobalt. You can ask Valerie, top of my list is a new Cobalt boat. And they're like, too expensive. So I just wanted you to see what could have happened at a moment of time. Our hope is that this happens two more times in the next seven years. Because I'm, I'm retiring at 59. I'm 52 years old. We were in the mid-60s about two months ago. Thank you, Will and Nolly, for that. Because now we will retire. We've got a very serious, aggressive plan to retire and accumulate wealth and stock and keep selling real estate at 59. Where are we going? Anybody know where we're going? To the beach. That's right, to the beach. All right, so there's that. I wanted you guys to see that scenario, okay? I think you'll agree it's pretty powerful. So that's the Stock Equity Award. Agent voice in the community. I really like this piece, okay? This is where agents and brokers at different income production levels of the company are invited to a table at the highest levels of our company. Revenue share plan. As I mentioned before, there's a way that EXP agents who want to sponsor agents into the company can build revenue based upon how much you're willing to invest in your team and help them grow. But this is what's really important. I had somebody tell me, well, I don't want to take money out of any agent's pockets. I can promise you this, that no revenue share that you ever achieve through EXP will ever come out of an agent's pocket. It always comes out of the company dollar. So make sure you understand that. No, we're not taking money from anybody, we're giving money. So agents can earn based upon adjusted gross income from the sales transactions closed by a personally sponsored capping agent. Remember what you gotta do to cap? You gotta pay 16,000 into the company and an 80-20 split. And productive agents in their overall group. So let me kind of show you a little bit about how that breaks down. This is a game changer. This is the revenue share chart. Alan, I'm gonna take you. You've been selling real estate since 1991 in San Antonio. I know you know a lot of people in real estate and a lot of other people with our affiliation with the rodeo. I know you've got a big sphere of influence, okay? David Guyon is another. David, do you know how many friends you have on Facebook? I got 20 bucks. <laughs> I got $20 if you can tell me how many people, how many friends you have on Facebook. I have no idea, a bunch. You have 2,056 friends on Facebook. Wow. 46 in common, I'm pretty blessed with that. 
So you know what they call that in the, the cloud-based world? You, you are an influencer. You don't know it, but you are an influencer. So all the people that you know, and I know you're in ministry, okay, but you talked to me about you, you've had your license in active for a long time. Carly's husband, he's got maybe want to get into real estate. Imagine what you and he could build for Carly and Mo, right? If you do something like this. So I'm going to say Alan. Back to Alan. Alan's way up here. Alan joins EXP, and then he takes maybe 10 people. He gets 10 people, so he sponsors personally into the company. Those people are called your tier one, your front line. It's the most important tier because the more people here that you have in your first tier, you will unlock the tiers below tier one. And so if you have four people in tier one and they sponsor 10 people, you're out of luck because you only have four in your front line. So the way to really maximize this chart and your earnings is to put as many people to sponsor personally in tier one. If you do 10, so let's say, Alan, you're going to do 10 people that you're going to personally bring to the company. You're going to get them set up and they're going to keep doing what they're doing and they're going to cap. Those 10 people under tier one will provide $28,000 of income for you in the first year. If they cap, which means they are going to pay $16,000. When that happens, you're going to make $28,000 for your 10 productive agents. And that money comes out of the company dollar. Okay, you with me? Now, who knows what they're going to build below you, right? So you need to keep adding people on tier one. And you might have a question. Well, do they have to cap for me to get paid? The answer is no. So, Joy, let's say you had an agent, one agent, and they close their first transaction. By the way, when they close their first transaction, you get $200 in stock, and they get $200 in stock because they're a personally sponsored agent. But when they write their first deal, you might get a check for $357. You get paid on every transaction of people that you sponsored your front line until they cap. So at $2,800 on tier one, you're done. You've made all your money that you're going to make there if they cap. But you're going to make the money going along as they write their business. What I love about this is that they're very, very smartly done. They're going to pay you more on tier two. You know why? Because they want you to help your people get people also and attract them to the company. So when you can do that, you're going to make 4% on this tier two. And then it kind of gets a little bit in the middle there, but you can... You can revenue share and get income based upon seven tiers deep with people. I'm going to just tell you, I uh, had, a, had a Zoom meeting call the other day. I'm not going to mention the person's name. They're not here, but they're, they're a superstar with the company, and I was privileged to gain, glean some information from this person. And they were taking me inside their back office and all of that, and they were showing me that they sponsored 27 people into the company. 27 people have added over 1,058 people below them in tier one. This person has been with the company for three years. You know how much was deposited into this person's account last month of April 2021? $44,780. And all they sponsored was 27 people into the company. You have no idea how it's going to grow. So let me give you some information about this. This expansion share, this column right here, this is a low number because this you're going to get no matter how many people you have on your front line, Qualifying agent tier one. So when you, if, if I if I get David, David gets Pete, Pete gets Chuck. You get everything they do up until they cap. You get this percentage up. Even if you don't build a huge team, you can add one person, and they could add 150 people, and you will make something in your revenue share from the company from their production. But if you really want to maximize this, and you guys like Valerie and I, you want to build wealth, you might want to retire early and go where? That's right. That's our goal. Then you need to get your frontline qualifying agents up in tier one. Now, what's a frontline qualifying agent? Great question. I'm glad you asked. A frontline qualifying agent is an agent that has at least a minimum production of 5,000 in gross commissions in a rolling six month period or two closed transactions, okay? So if you sponsor someone on your tier one and they don't do that, they're gonna kind of fall away for a little bit until they produce until they hit that benchmark. Then they're thrown back in and they're a frontline qualifying agent. So when you look at the different tiers that you want to unlock with the team that you build, it's imperative that you keep an eye on the amount of agents in your frontline and they must be qualified. Our goal is to add 50 each. Valerie and I to add 50 to our frontline. So we're going to pad it a little bit in case some of the people don't qualify. We don't want to miss out on the different tiers that we help mentor and grow our team. This is all our team. Does that excite you guys at all a little bit? Raise your hand if that's kind of interesting. Woo! 
Tell me, have you ever seen that before in any other model of any, any other real estate? Keller Williams has a little bit, but it's kind of on profit, so it's different. So they share, they share profit after all the big boys have been paid and all the bills have been paid. Then they might share some of the profit. But EXP shares 50% of its revenue going back to all their agents. I like that. Transforming the real estate world. EXP is a real estate office of the future, but available today. I'm gonna to show you some pretty cool platforms within the EXP world from transaction management and everything. This is pretty cool. So this here, you actually get to create your avatar. I had to look up what avatar meant. I guess I never saw the movie, but and I'm, I'm a little technically challenged, but I got an avatar that looks a little like me, but better looking. That's why I picked it, right? So you literally walk around these conferences and training seminars with your name up top. I'm going to be walking around and say, hey, Mary Jo, how are you? And then, then of course, the speaker would be like, shh, over there, right? But you can. You can pop into the training, share information, team collaboration. So if you got teams in different geographical areas, you can set up a meeting that's better than Zoom and collaborate with your team. You see the water out that back window? I'd be in that room right there. Real-time support. Walk up to this guy, Joshua Rowland, okay? He's an onboarding administrator. Joshua, I need help. And he's going to be there for you. Work anywhere, anytime, you can jump into the meetings. Tools for productive agents. This is another key piece to EXP, guys. Roughly 30%, according to NAR, of real estate agents do not have medical insurance. It's a problem. You know what I see? I see that agent advisory council that I described a minute ago. Remember the agents at the highest levels of the company in those meetings? I feel like one day the guys were like, okay, what do we need to do next to make EXP better and bless our agents even more? And somebody in that meeting said, you know what? We're independent contractors. It is excruciatingly difficult for us to get good medical insurance. Boom, uh, this is brand new for the company. I will tell you, uh, there's not a lot of information about it, but I'm gonna show you a little bit. The EXP Agent Healthcare, you can have insurance and med cost sharing. You can have telemedicine services, supplemental insurance. So for more information, see us after the meeting or you can always go to expagentcare. Com. The solution is EXP Enterprise, your business intelligence platform. Skyslope is your transaction management. I spoke about it a minute ago. All in the cloud, sending it for signatures, keeping it there, sending it to the company. Workplace by Facebook. I'm going to like this, okay? It's basically Facebook, but it's for business. CRM, big thing for us, right? Lead gen, big thing for agents. Free in your monthly fee, that's all. I'll go over in just a minute. You get a powerful lead generation platforms provided to each of us at no cost. Remember, our founder understood the internet, he understood real estate, and he understood 15 years ago how to connect them together. I'm excited to see what kind of lead gen this pro proves to be. Integrate your listings with your own WordPress website, that's included with the XP. If you don't have a website, you gotta have a website in this business. Maui and I spent thousands of dollars on our website. One of our agents has already looked into it, he's letting go of his website that he bought recently and going with EXPs because it's integrated with so many things, it makes sense. And then if, if the lead gen platform that they offer you or we offer you for free isn't enough, there is an optional lead gen platform that you can purchase lead. Marketing and branding, you get your first 1,000 business cards for free. They have a wealth of brochures and marketing materials that we all use every day. Already the templates are there, you just click, save, print, send. Brochures, yard signage. <coughs> you have a ton of preferred partners. We've been called the Amazon of real estate. I like that. Compare us to Amazon, I'm happy. The Amazon model of zero physical infrastructure. Real estate, you're next. That's happening as we speak. Again, back to the 50,000 agents that have joined EXP, the 10,000 agents that have joined in the last five months, they're all coming from the traditional brick and mortar real estate brokerages because they would love to offer what EXP is, but because they've got so much brick and mortar and overhead and expenses, they can't, even if they wanted to. This is it. This is our commission split with EXP. Every single agent has the same split, 80-20. I don't know about you guys. I've worked at a brokerage where I could have sworn a couple of these guys had better splits than me. I'm just saying. I mean, I've been there. Everybody has an 80-20 split, and you cap out at $16,000. To break that down, you write $2.7 million of business. You paid the company $16,000, and you're on 100% commission for the next whatever weeks you are until your anniversary date. Your anniversary date. That's the date that you join the company. For me, it's April 23rd, 2021. I've heard that they might round that up to May 1st, but let's say April 23rd. That was 10 days ago today that I actually moved my license over to EXP. That's my anniversary date.
when I cap at $16,000 for the next 50 weeks or whatever, I will earn 100% commission. I will pay a $250 transaction fee after I cap, okay? And that maxes out at 5,000. What happens when you, when you do 20 extra transactions? Anybody remember? What? That's right. Well, I know you guys back there know that. I'm talking about these fees. Come on. All right. After you pay 5,000 in those fees, then it's reduced to $75 per. Here are your standard costs. Everybody wants to know well, what are the fees? Well, there are no desk fees. There are no franchise fees. There is a $149 startup fee. But the good news, that covers your very first month of your $85 a month cloud brokerage fee. So the $149 you pay covers your first month. You can get online, start exploring eXp, all the different platforms that you can use to build your business. Every single transaction will have a $25 broker review fee. And then every transaction that you write and close will have a $40 risk management fee. For you non-real estate people, errors and admissions, it's a must in our business. That's what we charged our own agents, $40 a month. You cap at 500, and then you're done paying your E&O for the rest of the year to your calendar anniversary date. So that's our, those are our numbers. Okay, this is great. These are some high rankings that we've achieved at EXP in, in the industry. I will tell you the last number in any of these is 2019. I'd bet money right now that we elevated many of these positions in the last 12 months. It doesn't even have 2020's numbers when we added over you know, 10,000 agents. How do you join EXP? You talk to that person who got you the most excited about EXP. The person that, that kind of got you on board, okay? That you trust, that you want to work with. All right, before I kind of get to the question and answer session, I want to show you something a little personal, okay? Uh, but I want to show it to you so that you can see what can be done with EXP. I'm going to share the business I've done in the last 10 days, what that's meant for me. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right. Find the thing. So as I said before, I moved my license over 10 days ago on April 23rd. That weekend, I got an offer on one of my local waterfront properties. So this is me, PK. My name's Patrick Kelly. When I was a little boy, my sister nicknamed me PK. And now all the people, all of my true close friends, several in this room, they call me PK. Okay, won't hurt my feelings. So I joined on April 23rd. And that was on a Friday. And Sunday, I got an offer, which we've accepted. It's an all-cash offer to close this month. Now, I'm gonna play with some numbers here because you know, I'm not really allowed to tell you kind of what I'm under contract for, you know, in case another agent. So, but the numbers are accurate. I've just moved them around just a little bit. Is that fair? Because that's how we got to do it as real estate agents, right? So I got an offer for 1.77 million on a waterfront property that I have listed. It's in escrow, it's done, it's executed. Two days later, for a, for a buyer, that I represent, we bought her a cute little $184,000 house over in Granite Shoals. Cash, two week close. Both of these close in May. And I'm already thinking, holy cow, this is great. You know, I don't do this all the time, but God wasn't finished yet. Last Friday, I'll be working with some buyers for months. Finally keyed in on a property, they wrote it up for $1.65 million here in Horseshoe Bay. The Horseshoe Bay, Granite Shoals, Sunrise Beach, all in this market. So I've got all three of these executed contracts in escrow right now, all to close in May. So theoretically, if they all close, and we know not everything closes these days, but if these three things close, I'm looking at a $3.6 million month. I will tell you right now, I've never had a $3.6 million month. For me personally, and my faith, and my belief, I believe that this is the Lord saying you are obedient. I led you to EXP. I've got goosebumps right now, but well done. Here's your reward. I truly believe that to the King of Kings. So I'm, I'm ecstatic. I got $3.6 million. What does that mean for me as a new real estate agent with EXP? I'll tell you what it means. Number one, it means I'm capped. I have paid the company by the end of this month, hopefully $16,000 for the next 51 weeks all of my commissions are all mine. I've never been in that position in real estate. So I'm capped $16,000. Well, let's, let's add up the stock. 
I'm going to close my first transaction. So what do I get? $200 exactly. So I got $200 in stock for closing my first transaction. Okay. And then I cap, which I get another $400 in stock. And then I'm in the 5% program. I'm buying every bit of stock I can at a discount. And I believe everyone should. So let's do the numbers here. And I have to get my calculator for this. 3.604 times 0.03. All of these are the 3% commission. 108120. So a standard 3% from these transactions is 108,000. Now minus 16,000. Because I paid that to the company, right? That's my cap. What's 108? 92,120. There you go. 92,120. That's the number I want. Now last number, if you don't mind, Valerie. That's after I paid my cap, 92,120 times 0 0.05. $4,606. $4,606. So in my first month with the company, if I close these transactions, I'm gonna, no, no, that's like 87. So my, my income is great, it's a great month, but more as important, I've accumulated $5,200 in company stock. All of this at a 10% discount in my first month. Okay, so that can happen. That has happened with me. Doesn't happen all the time. Don't know if it'll ever happen again. But that's my 10 days with EXP. Praise God. So, thank you guys for that. First of all, everybody good? I just want to thank y'all for coming. Allie and I have a very specific goal, and it means the world to us. We want to help 100 people build wealth and retire early, okay? We've seen how we're going to do that, and I promise you, you check back with me in seven years, you better be in Belize on the beach, because that is where we're going to be. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're going to work our tails off. We already work our tails off. But what do you get when you leave your brokers? Do you get anything when you take anything out the door except for your box? You don't get anything. So we're the only ones offered you all of these benefits. That's why I jumped in, all in, and hitched my way. By the way, if we have 50 people on our front line that are capping, do you know what that means for us? We have what we call a freedom number, okay? What is a freedom number? Freedom number is how much money would you need to quit doing what you're doing? Build a wall and go to the beach. What's your, that's your freedom number. For me, it's 12 grand a month. If I could be 12 grand a month, I could say <laughs> buy a horseshoe bay and go to the beach, okay? Same with her. So if you have 50 people on your front line and they are all capping and they all FLQA, that's $144,000 a year, $12,000 a month. Anybody ever heard of Zig Ziglar? My heart, I love that man. I got to see him twice in my life. And I remember when he said this, when I was in the audience, he said, you can have everything that you want in your life if you just help enough other people get what they want in their life. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I mean, that's a true statement. That's what we want to do. In business, the rear view mirror is always much clearer than the windshield, right? You know what I, mean, I think that means is, well, I can look back and say, gosh, I should have done that, you know? should have done that dark. Well, I missed out on that. I mean, you know, looking back, hindsight's 2020. Myself, when I've heard about beautiful opportunities like this in my life, a lot of times, they've already peaked, you know? They're on their decline. I'm like, man, I should have got in there then. So we weren't gonna make that mistake, okay? So I just want to say thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. That's it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my presentation on EXP Realty today. If you have any questions or you have an interest in joining EXP, I want to invite you to give me a call, give me an email. My phone number and email are right here below me. And I'd love to connect with you and walk you through any questions or any excitement that you have to get you on board with EXP. Thanks for watching.